New arrests in the Boston bombing investigation. Three of Jahar Zarnayev's best friends have been charged with obstructing justice and lying to investigators. And ABC's Pierre Thomas has been tracking all the latest. Good morning, Pierre. Great to have you here in the studio. Good morning, George. We've been working the story all night, and I can tell you there's an intense international investigation underway to figure out if these young men are misguided youths trying to help a friend or members of a terror cell. The three friends of the Boston bombers were led to jail in shackles late Wednesday after appearing in Boston federal court. Rebel Filibos, Dias Kutterbayov, and Osmat Tzayakov, seen here posing in this photo with Johar last year, are now facing charges of obstruction of justice and making false statements to the FBI. I know Dias and Azza as good people, you know, I don't believe what they're saying. But this morning, court documents say the men intended to slow down a major terrorist investigation by destroying key evidence. It began three days after the attack and just hours after the press conference where the FBI released images of the Marathon bombers. Johar's friends began to suspect he was involved. It is extremely important to contact us with any information regarding the identities of suspect one, suspect two, and their location. At 8.43 p.m., investigators say one of the roommates texts Johar saying he looks like the suspect on television. Johar allegedly responds, LOL, laugh out loud. You better not text me. Come to my room and take whatever you want. Within minutes, the FBI says Cutter Bayev texts his roommate to Zayakov asking, have you seen the news? The men reach out to Filipos and meet at Johar's college dorm room in Pinedale Hall. Inside, they discover a laptop and a backpack containing hollowed out fireworks. By 11 p.m., investigators say they make the decision to leave with the items and throw them away in this dumpster behind their apartment. One of the men's attorneys say they were just helping a friend and were not truly clear on what he may have done. He did not know that those in items were involved in a bombing or of any interest in a bombing or any evidential value. Well, there's no evidence the young men knew about the attack. The FBI wants to know what they were doing before the attack happened. As one senior law enforcement official told me last night, they lied to us once. We will not trust. We will verify.